right, welcome back to the Sunner 2. Today we'll get around this wall of light, and I think we'll start this by saving Sokolov. Was a clockwork soldier on patrol? This is a hell of a... Is it like a fighting maze or something for these things? That's not cool at all. Oop. Ouch. Questioning the stability of this maze as well. No break. Okay. So some trap doors. There's a note. Oh, hey, there's stuff over here. Conditioning Sokolov. So high and mighty Anton Sokolov won't dine to aid me in my efforts to make a new version of Clockwork Soldier. Fine. Another solution, my electroshock machine. Long aside, practical, pra little practical use with just the thing. Find the right calibration, be able to damage those parts of his mind related to independence and free will, leave me intact his vast knowledge and hopefully an even more important quality the old man possessions, though it pains me to admit, his legendary creativity. Okay, I kind of don't want to pull the configuration lever until I figure out what all this place is. So it looks like a little bit of a maze. And there's Sokolov. Seems to be boards and stuff I can come up from below. Flies and loot in this back corner. So there's only the one robot. Can I break the ceiling glass? No. Okay. That limits my options somewhat. Alright, so I still gotta take out one, but however, I do have some bolts again. So I can just break it. Oh god, I got it back. You can just break its head and then slowly chunk its arms apart. So that doesn't help. When this place search is underway. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get it into this room and then I can lock it off over here. Got it. I see how this works. Here, dumbass. Boop, 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 boop. Look up. Hey. All right. Well, that doesn't work. Which means I'm gonna have to stick myself into the maze with it and suffer. Ugh. Fine. So much for being sneaky. Okay. Woo! Any 
any of my bolts back? Of course not. Oh good, it's the forearm model. Whoop! Ow, 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 ow. That was my fault. The machine has lost its quarry. Use my power rather than stabbing it. Use my power rather than stabbing it. Damn it. It's the whole left hand, right hand, because I figure power's in my right hand, so I should right click to use it, and dagger's in my left, or no. Power's in my left hand, dagger's in my right hand, so I click accordingly instead of reverse. Playback for detection registered. Apparently, their weakness is chest high walls. Well, that was a rather easy one to defeat. Where's your shiny bit? There it is. All right, now to get Sokolov. Oh, those are pressure plates. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well. I did not think those were security system bits. I thought they were like trap doors. So there's a certain configuration that will let me get to Sokolov and get out the door. Okay, so this one opens the exit door. And opens the way to the armory! Nice! Take the rewire tool, can't take any of those. I can get my grenade back. Nice, and top my health off. Sweet. Okay. So then this one. Puts it back the way it was. All right. And this one. Aha, opens up his area. Oh, but only temporarily. Let's get this thing to lock into place, maybe, then. Maybe the combination of that one and this one... Or maybe it's just the reason why he had this boarded over is if I stand here, it just does what it needs to. Oh. Well, that was easier than I was making it. I'm eating your food, Sokolov. Hope you don't mind. I don't have anything really interesting here, huh? The blood and topography of Grim Alex. Huh. Or blood topography. Well, we don't have to worry about them anymore. So Note to Anton Sokolov. Dear Anton Sokolov, I hope the sound of the clockwork soldier outside your cell doesn't disturb your rest. I find the solid footfalls and gentle electric hum to be soothing, but you may be a different opinion. In fact, in your condition, the noise might be maddening, especially since the pressure plate for the exit to your cell is positioned tantalizingly within reach. But should you attempt to venture forth from the assessment chamber like some wrinkled gray whiskered rat hunting through a labyrinth for a morsel of cheese, you will soon find your stoic guardian bearing down on you. You're an intelligent man, I'm sure you don't need to illustrate what those honed edges would do to your ancient and haggard Go body. Off. Hey, Sokolov. You okay, buddy? Can it be? Is that young Emily Caldwin? Anton, save your strength. I came Aww. to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. 
It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <laughs> what? What? Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. Woo! Woo! Okay, so what do I need to do with him? Rescue Anton Sokolov. Alright. Um, let's get him out of the maze first, at least. You'll be safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then, I owe Jindosh a visit. Okay, so we're going to the front door. Come on, pressure plate switch. Take Sokolov back to the carriage. Though I have a feeling this may not be the easiest thing in the world to accomplish. Nice. Of course they have new guards. She's dead. Let's see what you got. You just throw something at me, bitch. Ow. Uh, of course, there were multiple guards. You know, it's not like it's like I didn't clear this entire place out for the express purpose of not having to deal with shit. At least get to this comfortable room for him. I can leave him on the couch. All right, come on. Let's get you on a couch, buddy. Nice and comfy. And now we'll deal with the rest of this shit. I'm glad I got rid of that arc pylon, because I'm figuring that would probably be active at this point. Hmm. Right then. Next floor. Guards this floor. That was really annoying having three new guards show up like that. Trying to hide from me, coins. Didn't work. No, we're good. Quick visual inspection. Good. 
stupid extra guard showing up and rooting my... Ugh. All right. Come on, old friend. Oopsie daisy. Emily is pretty strong for an empress. Just being able to grab and carry a guy like this around and jump while doing so and everything. It is pretty impressive. That light is still swinging from our earlier fight. I got this guy's plate. Yeah, I got this guy's plate. All right. No, no, where's Sokolov? Please be with me. I really hope he's with me. We'll get him safely out of town. And then we'll come back for Jindosh. Okay. At least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. All right. I like how I can actually just return and do nothing to Jindosh. I don't have to kill him or anything. You just... Oh, no, I have to return to this gift with Jindosh. Or with uh, Sokolov. Okay. So I could use the electric machine for the non-lethal approach, or I could just kill Jindosh. And we need to get rid of him. He's got a little bit too ambitious of plans for the Empire. Sokolov is the only inventor our Empire needs. So now the question is, how the hell am I going to get to him? There's that wall of light I can't get to unless I have the rat possession power, but I don't want to invest the stuff into it because I want to get the bone charms power. Gotta be a trick or a switch to doing that. It's probably up with that. It probably has to do with that elevator. Blood from the other side. Now I can break the glass. Just making sure that wall light didn't turn back on. Oh, never mind. That yeah, I can just go over that way. But I want to go break the elevator first. Now we have no more use of the elevator. I think I called it to the first floor, so I should see the cables. Aha. Where the fuck did I end up? Oh. Hit him with my sword. Don't want to waste crossbow bolts, honestly. <laughs> I can. Nice. Oh. Well, fuck. They just broke the elevator. That didn't really get me any benefit. Unless... Nope, back panel doesn't get me anywhere. Damn. I mean, I guess there isn't a lower floor, so yeah. That makes some sense. Oh well, we tried. All right. They're really not 
I go anywhere? God damn it. Thought I went up a level. Alright, bone charm check. We have one rune to get, and that is it. Ooh, hello. We've been yeah, we've been here before. So many hands built this place. And it is so grand. Well, so grand. It could have been a paradise for all. For the downtrodden, for the poor and forgotten, mudlocks, beggars, and orphans. Who speaks for them? Always conflict, power, greed, lust. For me. Why I wouldn't give just to hold your hand in mine one more time. Aww. You kill without thought or reason. Slaughter without remorse. This path of yours leads you astray. You don't understand, Mom. I'm killing the enemies of the Empire and I'm leaving the citizens and staff and stuff alive. Do I know this place? Have I wisdom to convey? I only know that I am weary. Nothing more. Even without eyes to look upon the world, I see so much. Once nearly all things were hidden. Okay, this is gonna be a final battle area. This is not gonna be friendly. This must be Jindosh's lab. He's up a floor. Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. While I appreciate your grand philosophizing, Mother, I would be very helpful to have specific information on Jindosh and what his plans are. This was once my world. All things from the northernmost shores to here, Karnaka in the south. Woo, that's a drop. Imagine him pulling that floor out from underneath somebody. Also, I want to test that floor. If it's smart, it will remove this side first and then leave that side or go from both ends into the middle to trap people. We'll see how smart he is on the... Oh, I see clockwork. I don't know if that's a functioning one or not. How many arrows do I have left? Two. Hello. Oh, I think that's one in progress. That's a functioning one. So there are two up top. One thousand locations. We introduce graphite. He could have his own clockwork soldiers kill him. For detection registered. That could be poetic. Hey, there's another elevator. Oh, son of a bitch, was this the elevator I broke? One second, checking this. Still idling. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. Nope, this is a different elevator. And a smarter design, too. You can't break this one. Sticky grenades! Nice. Give me an 
ore. Nice. I need a maintenance key, huh? Well, there's the rune. This must be what he would bring up if I got detected in there. Look like there's extra soldiers down here or anything. Aha, this is the other side of that wall of light by the assessment chamber. So you can get back here without having... Oh, that's evil. One coin. You can get back here without having the rat possession power. Good to know. Take that apart. So now we have a getaway path if we so need one. Climbing these elevators. Oh, I wish I had my bone charms or enough runes to get the uh, bone charm ability. Faster mana regen would be great. Okay, so I do have this hidey spot up here that I can use to ambush those robots. Doesn't appear to be a pathway to the second floor, and they can see down. Still idling. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. There is Jindosh. Increasing oil tank temperature. I'm going to activate this gateway thing here because I want to have a second avenue of escape in case those things jump down and attack me. Glad I did. That thing takes ages to unfurl. Oh my god. I gotta do this. Okay. So my plan is drop a clockwork... Oh no, because if I drop a clockwork soldier off then I uh, I don't get to grab its little token thing. Damn. So let's see. From this side... Oh. Also, yeah, we never went up to the third floor. Uh. Ow. Yeah, I'm curious if there's anything hidden up that way. So we'll do this. That's the ceiling. That's the ceiling. Fly husk. Emergency buttons. Good, good, good. Thought for a second that those would always go all, go all the way up to the ceiling, but apparently they don't. Is there any loot up here at all? Just that one blood fly husk rewarding me for finding this area. Is there any way to get out onto the rooftop? Oh, son of a bitch. Look at this, look at this. Oh. Nope. Okay, I thought I could, like, sneak out across the balcony and just walk along the top. 
can get to Jindosh that way, but no. Now. All right. Well, we experimented. I kind of want to confront Jindosh, so I'm going to save here, I'm going to walk into the center, and I'm going to trigger it, and then I'm going to attack the things. So that does look very trappish, like he'd seal me in. Jindosh, entry on Whalebone. Today I'll raise... The anatomy platform, bringing it up to the laboratory floor where I can resume my work evaluating the rune artifact. Even as a man dedicated to natural philosophy, I must admit that my association with the occultist Brianna Ashworth has renewed my interest in the study of whalebone. Given what I've seen over the past three years working with Brianna, I cannot entirely dispel the idea that the bones of the Leviathan's pat possess unusual properties. When pressed, she speaks in the meaningless plover of the spiritualist. In an attempt to find answers of my own, I procured one of the so-called rune artifacts, considered heretical, of course, by the narrow minds of the Abbey, However, thus far, my examinations have netted nothing of interest. A, simple hum a sample of human tissue affected by these runes might reveal more. Were I able to get, say, the jawbone of one of those poor sods burned alive by the overseers. The charges a magnetic coil. coil. Okay, the machine has detected something. Something tripped the detection rig unduly. So I'm wondering if that's his shocky machine, like the safety thing. Extra diagnostic playback loop. This must be the electroshock machine Jindosh yep. mentioned. The machine has completed the playback detection state. indicates some detection oh, oh, oh. without certainty. Physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought-after painter in all the this empire. playback indicates a false my positive. <laughs> now, my puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant-looking device against me, get on with it, Jindosh. Though I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshocked machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice as much as you do, Kieran? Ah, ah, ah. Yep, he's a dick. If I'm to be a drooling idiot, at least I won't be bothered by any more of your rambling skills. Ha ha, you tell him, Sokolov. Okay, looks like the one that jumped down went back up. Make a note. Remove this playback after the final field test. Alright, well... Fortunately, he's between the two of them, and I kind of want to see if he has anything to say. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is get them to come down to me. The machine is experiencing uncertainty. How to make noise? Do I have anything I can throw? Playback for detection registered. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well. When in doubt, use the simple way. One down here. Remove the head. The machine has lost its quarry. And that should piss off the other one, so it jumps down, and then they take care of each other down here. Or not. Hello. Uh, Hello. Come on, idiot. Over here. Down here. Rats, I guess. When this plays, check central rotor. There you go. Now you'll Play jump down. Criminal profile. And that should piss off the other one when it hears you walk by. Combat protocol. Playback indicates a young woman. Arms. This plays if someone eludes the machine. Playback for termination of search. Ugh, come on. I want to kill him personally, not have you guys do it. Registered. Lost. All right, well, I'll kill you guys both this way. Entering <laughs> Playback indicates lost enemy. Let's see if we can bring these two together. Quarry lost. Come on. I want to see you two fight. Oi, moron. The machine has lost its quarry. I just want to see you fight each other. Robot fight. The machine has lost its quarry. These are the stupidest robots. Did this one go? Uh. Ow! Got hit that time. Ow! Playback indicates lost enemy. All right, losing patience, getting bored. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. Kieran Jindosh. Apparently, they're immune to grenades because they have an electromagnetic pulse. That's good to know. <laughs> I'm just going to go confront Jindosh. If they jump up to help, then whatever happens, happens. Sup, bitch? <laughs> Over 
All right. Well then, Goodbye, he gets some rope poetic justice. This blaze of someone eludes the machine. <sighs> well, that was less dramatic than I'd hoped. The machine is experiencing uncertainty. Enemy evasion successful. Switching to alternative tactical mode. Playback indicates lost enemy. This Come on, let me kill you. The machine. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. Okay, the machine has detected something. The overheat's only one free strike. Alternative tactical mode. Quarry lost. Detached. Magnetic. All right, one plaque. Well, that really sucks. I was hoping to have a better confrontation with him, but he dies to his own creation, as we wanted. Note to Kieran Jindosh. Kieran, in my hope that Pale Stars look down upon a favor, your attempts to gain Sokolov's favor. But if the old goat will not bend to your will, I can own, offer an alternative to merely keeping him locked up in your assessment chamber and subjecting him to cruel electrotherapy. I've started a new effigy cast in Sokolov's shape. Given time, I believe it might grant me some influence over your esteemed guest. Okay. Well, she has to die. Tire, I'm tired of dealing with my old teacher. I'm confident I don't need him to simplify the design of Clockwork Soldier, but without Sokolov, it could take years to reduce the cost of each clockwork. Design a version that can be built with cheaper, more readily available materials, and assembled by Duke of Bell's half-witted factory workers. Duke will get his clockwork army, I'll make sure of that. The question is when. I'll keep experimenting with the electroshock machine, trying to get it just right, and if Sokolov can't be made to help me, I'll continue using the machine on him anyway as an ex as entertainment. Well, what a dick. I'm glad we killed him. Some silver dust. What else we got? Light along the inverse curve. Oh, he had a painting of his old teacher. Slug splintering wedges. Ooh. That might be fun bullet advanced uh, recipe. Anything else? Our other friend. Playback indicates lost enemy. Playback indicates some detection without cooling down. Playback for detection registered. Get your ass up here already. It's quarry. Man, they're really dumb without their heads. Playback indicates lost enemy. Uh, is there any notes or anything here? Curious if he has any other goodies that I can gather. Aha! So if I push second floor.
Nope, no secret area on this one. Actually, that might be another floor down. I'll have to check when I'm done. Ah, that stupid thing is just still sitting there. Huh, wow, he has a lavish room. Sleep. It must be just like for quick naps or something. Ooh, reflection four. Two did our first day on the continent, and the new world is not sated and would not have one more. None other than the captain himself. His group has found a cluster of small rodents, much like rabbits or prairie moles. The lure of fresh meat proved too much temptation for our good captain, who had dined on scant fish and the same ration as the crew all these dreary months. He was able to grab one of the creatures with his bare hands, but the docile beasts were not so tame after all. Having allowed the captain to pick it up, the creature became enraged and delivered several stings from a gland hidden in its tail. The captain complained of heat and itching where the sting had penetrated, but they insisted they press on. He died of asphyxiation within a quarter hour. It was suddenly obvious to me that at the rate of attrition, we would not only fail to sufficiently research the continent, but we might soon lack enough crew to make the return voyage. Something had to be done to save the venture, and so I immediately declared myself captain. On my orders, the remaining crew kept to the relative safety of the beach for the duration of the week. Though I sent two young academy students armed with nets and cages to fetch a live sample of the prairie mole that had swiftly killed the captain. As first and foremost, ours was a research expedition. Some electrical wiring. And one more up here. Oh, that's interesting. We got to read another part of Sokolov's thing. Alright, let's take care of this asshole and then loot the downstairs. Seems to have harder plating on it. The machine has now relied on audio stimulus. This plays if someone eludes the machine. Quarry lost. Okay, the machine has detected. The machine has lost its quarry. So glad it tells me whenever it loses me. Playback indicates lost enemy. Oh, these things are a pain in the ass to kill. either. Successful. And last one. Playback indicates lost enemy. Okay. So here's a test. If I do a second drop attack, does it get me any benefit? Oh, that just straight up breaks it. Oh, that would have been simpler if I'd been doing that all along. Alright, well, you learn. And now I know how to get rid of them. Alright, what do we have for loot down here? I'm still kind of glad with the poetic death of uh, Jin Dosh to his own machines. It prevents him from raising an army that'll ever become a threat to the Empire. I was gonna try to electroshock the robot, but I wasn't sure how successful that would likely be. Um, I still need to figure out a way to get down to that maintenance key. 
Powering the electroshock machine. There's insufficient power to operate the electroshock machine. Until this is rectified, I have to compensate freeing up more power for the electroshock machine by configuring my, the other laboratory platforms so they draw the least power. Current power needs. Oh, it was like a whole puzzle. So you could, you'd sit there and you would go around turning things off to get enough power to be able to use the machine if you were doing the passive route. No, that's not how you do it. Ah, yep, that would do it. Yeah, and that's how you also get downstairs. Oh, fancy! This is a really cool lab, I gotta say. Well, this could take ages. Oh, I see. Okay, you need to go point to point to point. Uh, okay. I'm just going to hop down into the machine. Crossbow bolts and sleep darts. Yes. Look at all this goodies if I'd selected weaponry. Coins and some copper wire. Wow, it's like, you want to fill up on all your items? Sure, just come and grab as much as you like. Stun mines, regular grenades. Oh man, I could have just thrown shit all over the place down here. I could have just grenaded all of those clockwork soldiers and I wouldn't even have to care. Photography. You know, I just realized I pushed the anatomy button when I jumped down here, which means he pro it probably brought the body upstairs. Yeah. God damn it. Um. Uh, Holy shit, there are so many... Oh, that's the same panel. Alright, um... That's most actually the loot down here. Oh. Saw that. Hey, maintenance key! Oh, wow. They, uh, get a lot of dead bodies down here. lower floor? Oh shit, there was a secret lower floor. Oh, that's the assessment chamber floor. Damn it! I thought there was a... Ah, uh, fuck. Now I'm in the elevator shaft again. Damn it. Here I am looking for secrets, and I'd already found them all. Beautiful laboratory, though. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate elevators. Oh, I don't even need to use my powers. Well, that's much easier. Okay. Now let's see what new loot has shown up here. If any.
Letter from Delilah. Kieran, you ask what the void looks like and feels like if it can be measured like a real place. Here's my answer. Don't concern yourself with such matters. It is as real as anything I've ever experienced, but if you understood it, you'd know that such a statement makes as little sense as saying that I have been dead. The void is unspeakable, it is infinite, and it is nowhere, ever-changing and perpetual. There are more things in the endless black void, Kieran Jindosh, than are dreamt of in your natural philosophy. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a reference to a uh, famous quote. Leave aside your things, be things beyond your reach and be content that you are gifted with, much, with more insight than the common man, Delilah. Yay, one whole rune. And we still need two more? Get the final thing on the bone charms? Yeah, damn. Anything else lootable before I call it good? Well, I think we got everything in this level. We accomplished all of our objectives. We just need to return to the skiff. Change the other two lab platforms so they draw less power. Yeah, so basically the puzzle was in order to use the electroshock machine, you need 11 or the electroshock requires seven, so you have to make the other two platforms require only four. So you need, you need anatomy and optics. So we already have anatomy, and then the other panel... Set to optics, and then that thing will charge full. I like solving the puzzle even though I didn't have to solve the puzzle. Enigma door draft blueprint. The hell? Enigma door. The hell is this thing supposed to be? So now we're using one for anatomy. Three power for optics, which means it's four total, and the electroshock machine can use seven. Although, how you actually would have situated them on it, I don't exactly know. Would it just be the whole floor gets electrocuted, or what? Audiograph. Oh, is it the chair? Yep, that would have done it. Yeah, that was cool. We got to see how that worked. All right. Out of the Clockwork Mansion. Check the floor. Floor is still there. No. This lever. <coughs> and out we go. Very cool area. And now we can return to the skiff with Sokolov. Alright, well this looks like a good spot because we're probably going to have a whole bunch of... Well, Megan... Oh wait, Megan's 400 meters away. Yeah, so we're gonna probably have some cutscenes and stuff like that once we uh, bring Sokolov back. So we'll be cut. We'll cut here. We'll be back next time on more Dishonored 2.